What's up, fuckers? Today we're gonna have fun. That's right. Today I'm bringing you a dual review, and I'm doing something that I'll bet money that none of these other YouTube craft beer reviewers would ever do. That's right. This is going to be a dual review. Two beers in one video. On one side, we're gonna have some fine, highly regarded craft beer. And on the other, straight fucking new generation swill juice. Together in one. That's right. Two reviews. Craft beer and swill. We're gonna start with the craft beer. Let's take a look at what we have for the craft beer. Today's craft beer offering from Dogfish Head in Delaware. This is their 90 minute IPA. Um, Dogfish Head 90 minute Imperial IPA. Considered by some to be the best beer in America or the best IPA in America. Or so they say. Look, look, look at the red strip right here. They, they're tooting their own horn. They got a quote from some fucker in Esquire magazine that says, perhaps the best IPA in America. Ooh. I hate it when people toot their own horn. Only I can do that because I'm the king of YouTube beer. But anyways, um, what the fuck, right? <laughs> so we're doing Dogfish Head 90 Minute. I'm drinking this shit. This is going to be a legitimate, although profane, review of um, one of the I one of the most highly regarded IPAs in the country. Yeah. More on that in a second. Let me show you what the swill is, though. Check this out. That's right. When I say fucking swill, I'm not fucking kidding. This is for loco. Boco loco. Mango flavor. That's right. Mango flavor. Not that it's real fucking mango. But, uh... <laughs> Boco Loco, this is the little brother to Four Loco. You know, Four Loco is 12% alcohol in 24 ounce cans, and now they release Boco Loco, which translates to slightly less crazy. And these are 8% alcohol by volume, disgusting little flavored swill juices in 16 ounce cans. So we're doing this. Put this bitch back in the freezer. But it we don't want that to get warm. And I'll just throw this out there. I was going to match up that orange can with my new Miami Marlins hat. You know, the Miami Marlins, they got a new stadium. They're not the Florida Marlins anymore. They're the Miami Marlins, their own stadium. You know, they, they completely revamped the uniforms, the logos, everything. You know, it's now a big M with a little Marlin over it. It's fucking great. It's black and orange. I was going to go get me my new Miami Marlins hat, and they didn't have it at the fucking store. So I don't have a new Miami Marlins hat to match up with the orange fucking can. And it sucks, but I'm still doing this fucking video. I don't punk out over bullshit. I don't have wardrobe malfunctions. Anyways, and yes, I'm going to really talk shit today because I'm going to fucking have fun. Now, for the record, I haven't drank anything today. I had a, a late lunch, early dinner, however you want to look at it. It was a really good burger. I washed it down with a Boston lager, and that's been it. So this is 8% there, 9% here, and we're off, man. Dogfish Head 90 Minute Imperial IPA. Um, here's the thing with the 90 minute man. This is I've been hearing about this beer and seeing this beer for years I've always wanted to review it and never got around to it for whatever stupid reason But I did try it once thanks to my man Howard up in Vero Beach at Hurricane Wings um, He hooked it up with a bottle of this drank it at the bar But the thing is I had already had several other beers and this was after I ate My impression of it that night was that it was syrupy. I didn't like it but then again, I had already had several of the beers and I had eaten, so that does affect your fucking palate. So I finally decided to pick this bitch up and give it a legitimate fucking review. Now, I'm gonna pop the cap off with my little homebrew heaven opener I got from a man, Dorf68. Dorf enjoys a good 90 minute IPA, if I'm not mistaken. So what's up, Dorf? Got my IPA goblet, because it's the only way I drink my IPAs, at least for a review. And off we go. No bullshitting. Ooh, That's right. <clears throat> you know, the bottle may have been too cold that day. It may have been because of all the other hoppy beers or the fact that I was borderline drunk or the fact that my stomach was full because we used to pig out. We used to get a lot. We used to get hooked up with a lot of good food at that damn Hurricane Wings. Damn it, Howie. Move down to Broward, man. Howie would, would do good in West Palm Beach, actually, and I've been telling him that, but he doesn't want to listen to me. Anyway, taking a look at this beer after all this time, and for the record, I've had a fuckload of 60-minute IPA. I used to buy that a lot. They used to have it in one of my local uh, stores when I, when I lived in 
well, a couple of places. I think when I lived in Miami, they had it right around the corner. So I drank a lot of 60 Minute. Not my favorite IPA, but not a bad IPA. So let's see what 90 Minute is like. And this is this is kind of a copperish amber color. It's filtered. It's nice and clear. I can see through it, you know. But nice uh, orangey amber hue there. Good head. And a bit of a piney, piney and slightly sweet nose on this bitch. Hmm. Smells appealing, but doesn't smell really strong. Remember, this fucker's 9% dog call volume. Oh, shit. You know what? I was going to... What's my time? Ah, fuck my time. Just to punch it up on Beer Advocate before I start sucking this down. Like I said, this is highly regarded. A lot of people consider this one of the best IPAs in the country. And on Beer Advocate, just to give you a general idea here, out of 3,248 reviews, this bitch gets an A-. Um, I think Dogfish Head's beers are overhyped. I respect them as a brewery, but they don't really make anything that I want to drink on a regular basis. And I'm a session beer kind of guy. So, and like I said, I like the Dogfish 60, but it's just not my kind of IPA to East Coast. I like West Coast, you know, really strong, bitter, citrusy hops and a, a, a less maltier profile. So that's just me. But anyways, this is 90. Let's see what 90 offers. It's a big beer. Intensely hoppy up front. Definitely get some pine and there's a bit of a sweetness, almost a citrusy sweetness to it up front. It might also have to do with the heavy malt body, even the malt leaves an aftertaste. I can, I can kind of see why I considered this syrupy the first time around. As this warms, this is going to get sweeter. And yes, the sweetness leaves an aftertaste along with the bitter resin, pine resin, you know, from the hops. Um, it's not a bad beer, but it's not my it's not my taste. It really isn't something that I, I'll enjoy. Too malty. The night I had this at the bar, it was quite possible that I was drinking Ruination on tap all night, or Bell's Two Hearted Ale, something along those lines. And then you give me this thing with such a heavy malt character to it. And yes, it's kind of a rich, sweet caramel malt, but not my cup of tea. So, if you like the bigger, bolder, sweeter IPAs, you'll probably like this fucker. It'll be like all those other, you know, 3,000 people who think it's a great beer. Me personally, I wouldn't buy it again. I mean, I'll drink those and enjoy them because they're still hoppy and you can tell they're well made. It's a good hop profile, good flavor to it. But at the end of the day, not my kind of thing. So, uh, fuck it, eight minutes. This will probably be a 15 minute video. I know I've been doing a lot of long videos lately and I apologize, guys. But I hope you guys enjoy the shit I bring you in these long fucking videos. You know, just talking shit and drinking beer and other beverages because I wouldn't call this a beer. This is called a premium malt beverage with natural and artificial flavors and certified color. I love it when the colors are certified. That just, that, that does it for me right there. Um, FDNC yellow number six, FDNC yellow number five. There's two different kinds of yellow in this motherfucker. All right. That's right, fuckers. I am chasing a 90-minute IPA with a Ford Loco. Cheers. Yeah, it smells like mango. It smells like a mango Kool-Aid or like a mango soda would smell, I guess. And I'm not going to bother pouring this bitch in any kind of glass because you know it's going to be an orangey, a fake artificial nasty orangey color with a fuckload of carbonation. No sense looking at it. Ugh. Let's just drink it.
tech in the fact that it's cold as fuck. That orange, that orange, orangey, mangoey, fake sweetness. Oh, it's almost like instant heartburn. I can feel that bitch right there between the alcohol and that fake, overly sweet, chemically nasty, unnatural flavor. Fuck. This is what the kids are drinking today? Fuck. I thought it was bad when they were drinking 211, but this, oh fuck. <sighs> and yet after all that, I gotta admit that the mango flavor is slightly pleasant just because I enjoy mangoes. I don't necessarily eat mangoes in this is South Florida. I mean shit, my mom's got a huge mango tree out in front of the house. We get mangoes on a regular basis. And I'm not a huge fan of eating the fruit itself, but I love shit that's mango flavored. Here's one. I bought this shit yesterday, vitamin water zero, and the only reason I bought it is because strawberry guanabana. You never see that shit. I'm sure you, uh, you, my, my Anglo viewers out there, y'all living in like the Midwest and you know, predominantly, you know, white Anglo Protestant areas, no offense of course, but you know, you fuckers, y'all are never going to see strawberry guanabana. But that's okay, you know. Uh, it's the beauty of living in South Florida. I got Cigar City making me some Guano style espresso brown ale. And uh, I just picked this one up today. I'm just showing off. I picked this up fucking three hours ago. Cigar City, Jose Mati, American Porter. Review, legitimate, straight up at the table, legitimate review coming soon on this motherfucker. Let me stop talking shit and drink this motherfucker. I'm running long as fuck. God help me. 8%, fake mango. Two kinds of yellow, yes. I don't know if you can still consider this the you know the remaining swill when it's not even beer, it's carbonated alcohol water with fake flavors. <sighs> My tongue orange. How does this taste after that nasty shit? Let's see. Comparison in, in flavors and quality of ingredients I'll put it this way. Um, go to the dog park, pick up a semi-fresh dog turd off the ground, and then go to a steakhouse and order, say a filet mignon, medium rare, you know, some good quality black Angus. Chew on the dog turd, and then cut a piece of the filet mignon. That's the difference here. I, I don't think I can make that any more clear. I'm not gonna let this bitch go over 15 minutes. You see this? I will be killing this in the next minute and a half. 
but I'm going to get out of here in the interest of keeping this bitch under 15 minutes. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> 90 Minute is a damn good IPA if you like. I'm a little uh, more on the malty side. Uh, four loco, poco loco, flavored swill juice. Don't ever drink it. It's fucking evil. Peace, fuckers.